everyone and welcome to the final match of the first week of the IS, IASP International Fundraising Tournament hosted by the 7th Cavalry. Today we have a really fun match against the 107th, teamed up with the 16th IR against HLL Tango. Uh, today's tournament is meant for a good fun outing of Hell at Loose with the added benefit of doing some fundraisers for a great cause. Uh, for those of you who do not know, the IASP is the International Association of Suicide Prevention, for which we have already raised about nearly $3,000 between the eight teams that are involved, and we're going to continue to hopefully keep raising those funds for a great cause. And uh, here we go. Uh, joined today, I have two LT uh, Mix. Hello, everybody. And Corporal Strider. Good afternoon. And myself, 1LT Rob. So we're going to get going, and we're going to have a great time. We might have a problem here. It looks oh. like a bunch of Tango are on access. Hold on. What is going on? This, yeah. Hold on a second. I'm going to do something. I don't know why it's doing this. This is weird. Yep, we're going to have to try one more time. Did they all deliberately change because they understood that they were to be access first? No. I don't no. Know. <clears throat> I don't standard. believe so. So I'll have to try this one more time. Huh, that's weird. I'm telling them to hold. I've never had this much issue. Yeah, we haven't had any issues like this before <laughs> today. It looks like people are joining the right side, though. It doesn't look like we don't need to move anybody. Are we going to flip again? Let's do this. Let's not flip. Well, we're going to have to flip. I was going to say we we're going to just... have to flip. People are going to be too bad out of shape if we. Yeah. So we're going to try one more time. They're starting to get back at us now. Understandable. Tough times. I've never... This is crazy that it's happening like this. This is very strange. Okay, so... I'm just going to tell them stand by for another flip. I just did. Okay. I think I see the problem. They, when we flipped, they all changed teams thinking they were going to do something weird. And so they all changed thinking they were going to play as Axis, so they tried to do like a double flip of teams. Mm -hmm. uh -oh, so they chose a second yeah, team after flipping. Yeah, they chose flipping. a second team after flipping. What's the confusion? We'll be allies on flip, right? Yes. Do yes. Not, just tell them, do not change teams. Whatever team you're on flip, stay on that team. They all got confused. Okay, are the teams correct? It looks like they are. Tell them we are going to flip again. Change teams. We will be live on flip. Let me know once you send that message. Uh, it's sent. Okay. I'm going to flip the map okay. in about 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, starting to pass that on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they keep asking me to clarify like who's supposed to be on what team, but like it's like just don't switch. Yeah, it's get on a team and stay like, there. It doesn't matter if you're Axis or Ally. There's these numbers are way off. It's forty-five to thirty-nine. Who's not on the right team? I'm looking. I don't see. Did they just bring too many on 107th? Yeah, it's all 107th on and 16th IR. Axis. Okay, so I tell 107th they have too many guys. That they're going to have to adjust that. They're plus how many? Three? Yeah, plus three. 
Are you messaging them personally, or do I need to say it in? Tell them in team sir. chat that they they have three too many. So tell them we'll flip in three minutes, and you should be on ally. They're supposed at hundred and seventh should be on allies after flip. Maybe we've less than forty-eight. Uh, they never got the brief. I told them we're waiting until the team numbers are correct, and then we'll flip. They they think they're supposed to have fifty. It's forty v forty. Yeah. And that's on them. I told them like nine times, so sorry that that was miscommunicated. Oh, everybody seems to disagree with you, Rob. Um, Doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah. I'm telling them this was communicated before. Don't even argue. Just be like, it's it's forty versus forty, and uh, we'll have we'll kick the last people to join. So either they're gonna drop three. They're working on it. They're working yeah. on it. So we'll I'll flip the map in two minutes and we'll give them a little bit of time to figure it out. One's left. Well, they are having a couple of volunteers. We'll see what happens. They're probably gonna end up at like thirty-two. After this, no, <laughs> it should be forty-two. No, <laughs> the people don't just start leaving. That's what I'm saying. Is like people <laughs> have had they haven't this. had this problem at all. No. Once the last one leaves, I'll tell them we will flip in one minute. Yeah, I'm gonna flip at one twenty game time. Okay. Is there a way I can get the admin camera thing to disappear? Uh, hit your home key twice. Yep, we we're only delayed by 20 minutes. <laughs> I mean, that's... I'm sure it's been worse. Uh, they still need to lose one. Yeah, they still need to lose one, Rob. We might have to hold it. I'm just gonna flip and then they'll have to figure it out. And if... We'll give them another two minutes once we're live. And then we're just gonna kick someone randomly, just because we're right, like twenty minutes behind. So let's get this rolling. Yeah. Swap the map. Let's tell them flipping in ten. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Come on, server, stop stop playing with us here. Looks like we got a good flip. I'm not seeing anybody else as people would in. I say that, and there are people from Tango choosing the wrong side. 
Let's just move them. <laughs> let it roll. I'm, yeah, I'm done, kind of. Just let them figure it out. We're just going to play at this point. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. And the numbers and... are good. Yeah, let's get it. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final match of the first week of the IASP International Tournament hosted by the 7th Calvary. Uh, today, you're joined by myself, first LT Rob, and I'm joined by 2LT Mix. Hey, everybody. And Corporal Strider. What's up, guys? And we're going to be watching a really fun match with against the uh, – we got on deck today HL Tango versus 107th, and they've teamed up with 16th IR. Uh, playing our tournament rules. Uh, the purpose of this tournament is to raise money for the International Association of Suicide Prevention. Uh, to date, all eight teams that have been involved, we've already been able to raise nearly $3,000. So we're going to keep those fundraisers come in, play some Hell at Loose, and have some fun. Alrighty, and we're off. So let's see what Looks we like got. everybody got situated. Yeah, I'm sure. So we had a little bit of a hiccup getting started. Some of the server was malfunctioning, so we're starting a little late. But no worries. Everyone's on the right side, and we're getting going. So we're going to just thank everyone for their patience. Looks like uh, 107th is trying something with the recon, Vic. They got it all loaded up. Oh, no, they did have it loaded up. Mm -hmm. But those guys have switched speed. to transport. I wonder if we're going to see the same kind of rush maneuver we saw out of BR1 today. Yeah. Or BR1 yesterday. What do you think? Who's favored by checkpoint? Checkpoint. I think... Checkpoint, it's it's rather even, actually. So Don't the Axis have the truck map. south? The yeah. transport truck? Yeah, so the transport so they have truck... a quick way into checkpoint. Yeah, so the... Transport truck is south for the Axis, which is fully loaded up, pouring in to checkpoint. As well as their supply truck, though, is putting up their defenses on what looks like Western Approach. So this is actually a little different. What we've been seeing mostly today is both supply trucks always hitting that first point. But it seems like HL Tango is taking a different approach. They're sending a full squad element plus some recon to get their defensive garrison set up. HL Tango is also sneaking a recon Vic along the southernmost edge of the map so that eight palm trying to sneak a maybe try to intercept hl tango's vehicles interesting well they're likely to run into a light tank then so i don't know how that's going to go for them um i actually kind of like how the 107th actually escorted their transport in with a what's that medium tank mm -hmm. it's the uh, recon view yeah light tank is heading into a ton of infantry which yeah. could go either way so light tanks are already there, has spotted. And that recon Vic is actually lining up with shots right now. First AT round on target. MG suppressing the Stuart. Nice. I don't see a lot of garrisons going up around cemetery yet. Yeah, it Not looks, a lot at all. HL Tango has one garrison back near Rue Gamblesville. And then they're getting their nodes up and garrisons on Western Approach. Check. It looks like HL Tango has won the game of speed, though. They are secure the pretty strong placeholder on checkpoint itself. Well, the seventh that... is adjusting. They're moving, sending a, a supply truck up to cemetery probably to get a quick garrison as a fallback. And, and they're they... building pressure north in the village and uh, east. Um, if you haven't, just shoot a quick message to the 107. Just thank them for their patience. I did already at the start. Perfect. Yeah. So, always super fun when you have a little bit of server malfunctions, but we're good to go. Now we're ripping and rolling. It's technology for you. Always works until you don't want it to. <laughs> Artillery is on point here from 107th, landing in amongst Tango. Looks like the 107th just took, decided to take the long way around, come through the town, make sure they didn't take all of that covered approach down the street well they got to get their ops back up because they all just got wiped it's about to fl yep exactly and it looks like they're starting to do that now that tank support moving up here too wonder if they'll be able to push in 107th is sending a little element flanking around south which is interesting they have a medic they have quite a few medics i notice actually which i think is a little bit of a controversial choice I think since the new update, though, the medic has become way more viable. The the 
bandage time as well as the revive time has given it been given a significant buff. And you can see it's that definitely given it a buff. I'm not sure if I believe in it yet. We'll see what they can do. You got Captain Hagudo yeah. with an MG assault team, looking to make well, a maneuver on the. Seems like a medic's about to put in some work right now, resing his squad lead. Well, shut my mouth. That's what, <laughs> if it's ever a good idea, that's when. Uh, and they are getting some garrisons up around cemetery to get a little bit of a uh, fallback. Gun they... run though, just annihilated that squad. I don't think I ever think that strafing runs make sense. It did so that expensive. Time, just... Yeah. Well, I guess that's. Uh... Ooh, looks like this tiger is about to get some steward action in the south. Mm-hmm. Love to see it. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the steward's like, do I want to shoot? <laughs> Just, yeah, at first he backed out. He's like, I don't know. But then he realized. He's like, you know what? Game on. Let's go. Is that Tiger steward or Greyhound? Respond. Wait, is that Greyhound? That's Greyhound. Not even, that's not even steward. Uh-oh. <sighs> he did a lot of damage, but this might be... Uh... Oh no, Ooh, he's got to get in there close. Oh, ah, good job, Tiger. Good reaction. So, HL Tango actually has a squad committed all the way up by Hospice. And they seem to yeah. be doing the flank. It seems it's... like 107th is kind of expecting this, considering they left two full squads behind at Cemetery. Uh, they're not really getting much going here at Checkpoint at the moment, though. No, they're, they they're reset. So, if you're Tango, do you go for the jugular, or do you settle in and just keep a little bit of pressure on Cemetery to keep them honest? So the way we, really? we've seen from Tango is they actually are working to get a garrison on the F4 area, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So I think they're not, they're really good about not trying to redeploy until those four garrisons are set, so they're not wasting a lot of time spent, you know, spent off point. A lot of times, sure especially in pub games, up. you'll... You'll see a team like get some early success, and then they don't take that breath to get their defenses set before they make the next move. This tank has accepted its death. It's just sitting here. Not sure it realizes where the AT is coming from. Which tank is that? Well, the 75 that is now smoking up the point here at checkpoints. Sitting on just off of it to the north side. Yeah, that poor 75 is engulfed. <laughs> yep. He looks like he's trying to escape through smoke, but uh, I'm not sure how far he's going to be able to run. Yeah, poor guy's about to run into Zadi. <laughs> yeah. A wolf seems to be trying to run up to place a mine behind it or in front of it, and Zadi's just going to take the shot. Oh, three oh AT we got guys. another AT coming through. Oh, no! This poor 75 just isn't going to have a good day today. Oh, right, well, we've got an interesting situation developing with this recon vehicle here for Germany. So we still have one too many on uh, 107th. Any updates on that? I have not. Honestly, yeah, you want to just ask them to see if they can drop one more and say we'll give them, like, Five minutes. If they don't drop one, we'll have to we'll have to kick the balance just to keep everything 100% fair. There's a four-man squad for Tango flanking north around Cemetery. They've got support and an officer. I don't know if they have supplies down somewhere, too. Yeah, they already got garrison the F4, so it looks like they might be looking to get another flanking garrison. Now they're also looking to get a garrison on F6. Well, there's a lot of allies waiting to meet them in the buildings north of Cemetery, so... That's not going to be an easy push. Seven starting to use the terrain to their advantage, yeah, as much as possible. And uh, Str Strider makes you guys relay that message. Striders, I yeah, it relayed it, and one is dropping. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Yeah, HL Tango really has a dominating presence. 
I, I suspect the see now that they're about to get their second garrison set up to attack cemetery we'll probably see their see their move yeah see some some redeploy action so the question of course then is like where does that strength come from and does it give an opening to 107th 107th has i mean not a ton of garrisons on the board right now yeah tango's sitting at one two three four maybe five garrisons yeah 107th has two garrisons one north and one south of cemetery Was Tango ever able to get that garrison down up to the north? Yep, they just put it down. So they have one at F4 and mm. another at F6. So they Tango's in a good spot now to start sending the assault. They are patient in their flank around Cemetery here, too, on the north. They are being... Maybe lulling them into a false sense of security, thinking they have them contained. Could be. They just... uh. There's a supply vehicle coming up for 107th. Tango certainly knows it's there. I don't know if they're going to hold fire or not. Still looks like Tango is trying to push out just ever so slightly using the hedges to their advantage. Not really allowing them to sweep all the way down to the south to the edge of the map and around them. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to do like yet another attack garrison just behind Cemetery before they make a move. That would be hard to maintain because of the 100 meter rule, but yeah, it would be interesting I mean, if they tried it. At the moment, they could do it. Ooh, I have to say, if that's. Bombing run. That's an interesting bombing run. I'm not sure. They had that was for a Tango bombing run. Yeah, Tango had marks for an outpost, so the command. It seems like they're trying to get that OP down. I don't think they got maybe more than one or two kills with that. Mm -hmm. No structures. No structures. Mm -hmm. No tanks either. But I think they can afford it at this point. It also kind of feels like Tango is just winning the frontal engagement here, pushing 107th back a little bit in the middle. So they're starting to put pressure on Cemetery directly, as well as building the flank. Oh, it looks like uh, Cario is looking at an army in East Side. That said, there's significant forces in behind Tango in the village. Um, Mix, can I get you to swap over? Because I'm going to need your help probably. Because if this starts to get close, I'm going to need someone to help me watch the uh, Absolutely. Tango guys. Just to make sure we keep yep. everyone in bounds. Happy to do it. You can also watch the Tango's Hi. assault and see what they're up to while I, I kind of watch the defensive. Looks like 107th has sniffed out some nodes and a garrison at E6. Looks like a squad of Tango is actually able to flank around behind Cemetery without any type of... Uh, any type of armor or infantry to stop them from moving up. They also have signaled that they've identified enemy garrison in the H5. I'm not sure if they were able to take that down. Looks like the 107th is just all about protecting cemetery. They've got a medium Sherman 75 entrenched here behind some barricades. Uh, they're just entrenched. They're not letting Tango push in at all from the front. I wonder how fast it's going to take them to turn around and realize that they've been flanked. Yeah, it seems like I I appreciate the defensive move from 107th. You know, you never you never know what kind of contact you're going to get, and I think they felt the pressure early, and that's okay. And they're just trying to get their their heads back into it, get get things going for them. You know, they got their recon starting to make some flanks, maybe getting in behind Tango a little bit. Meanwhile, Tango's being very deliberate about when and how they're going to advance. Again, all their eggs set up before they make that move. Oh, it looks like the 107th is actually making a play on top of the point here at Checkpoint. They put down a garrison and a bombing run right on top of it to clear it off. I wonder if this will actually allow them to push in on Checkpoint. Ooh, that actually hit the bombing run was actually really good. It cleared it off. 
Effective bomber on a couple kills, garrison. That was actually pretty good for them, but uh, are they going to be able to push and hold at the same time? Doesn't seem like they're set to take advantage of that. Mm -mm. The, gear, the over airhead was overrun immediately after that bombing run. They weren't able to spawn anything there. Yeah, heads up play by HL Tango. Sunbix, do you want to watch Checkpoint so or Cemetery? Uh, your choice. I'll uh, watch Cemetery. Okay, that works. HL Tango immediately has a new supply truck, so they're getting all their nodes and garrisons now on the hard point. Meanwhile, we have hundreds of the, or the 16th IR making a move on the north side of the checkpoint. Nobody's bothering to uh, interdict the artillery, I notice. Just letting them do their thing without any harassing. That's actually a little surprising. In all the other matches that we've seen so far, there's been at least a recon shutting down artillery. Yeah. Oh no, seventh's a little split here. Yeah, it seems like Tango was able to successfully take over. Oh, I forgot what the name of that strong point is. Just outside the little house strong point on the far side of checkpoint. Or 107th had started their push into checkpoint from. Looks like Tango mm -hmm. really secure that mm. that AO. So it'll be interesting to see how this transition goes. As 107th is taking a very firm defensive approach with only about one squad worth of pressure, and they're recon now, working on the assault. Uh, Tango's get this uh, panther flanking, which is impressive. Well, the panther is starting to come up behind that 75. Yeah, they can't expect that panther there. Mm, the 75 has already been taken out, it seems, by AT. And the, yeah, they, I don't expect them to expect this panther to flank around behind And the here. panther has infantry support behind it, so its odds of doing some real work are good. Looks like Tango's already infiltrated into Cemetery. There's a squad lead. Ninja Lord living up to his name and being sneaky. Uh, I wonder if he'll be able to actually do something here. Meanwhile, Panther, he... however, is not interested in pushing checkpoint. Got some other mission. How are we looking on defense there, Rob? So it looks like HL Tango has about one squad left on the actual point, strong point defense, and it's about 1v1, squad to squad, and recon fight as they're fighting over the glider. That's a tough push, though, for mm -hmm. the 107th and 16th, trying to get it guys the field. It's a lot of open field. 107th is being forced stuff. to look behind them for contact now. Yeah, it looks like that panther might have went to chase some armor callouts. As they actually, it looks like... Oh yeah, there's, just, there's a little duel going on down south. Looks like they just blew something up. Panther from HL Tango did. Mm-hmm. Leaving a like single a truck. armor crewman out there running around wondering what's going on. Well, that tank is still alive. I wonder if that armor crewman's uh, gonna get in and try and take out that panther. Be gonna go zoom over there and just get them back in bounds. Whoa. Uh, the panther's in bounds. Yeah. Uh, just watch your boundaries, uh, guys. You're playing the bounds a little close. Thanks. Try to try to keep it in bounds as much as possible. Appreciate it. Oh, I was looking at the Sherman, not the Panther. Yeah, so that Sorry. was that was a little bit questionable. So, I'm gonna give them a warning. Um, so if they do that again, that's gonna be a kick. I'm gonna also announce that in t text chat. Yeah, they're on the move. Yeah, so I, I can appreciate you're going after that target, but if you're if you're coming in out of bounds to make that play, uh, that is that is against the rules. So that is their first warning. So if that Panther crew does do that again, we're gonna we're gonna have to do a little disciplinary kick, just to try to keep it as fair as possible for both sides. 
Now, for clarification, if you do get kicked, are you allowed back in, or are yes. you disqualified from the match? Yes. Yeah, so if you get kicked, you're allowed to come back in. If we have to kick you again, then you're you're done, so and you're not allowed back into the tournament. So copy that. You know, and it's totally fair. I I I appreciate what they're doing. It's a tough call when it's right in the line, but we're gonna try to keep that clean and fair as much as possible. Agreed. So it feels like we've kind of settled into a situation at this point. Not a lot, a lot really happening. No, Both I mean, Tango's are... putting good pressure on Cemetery, but they're not making a lot of progress. They can definitely put more pressure on here. It seems like both teams are pretty satisfied just to keep defending the points that they have. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Tango only has about one squad size element really holding on defense. And it seems like they're starting to move their forward defensive squad now towards Cemetery. Meanwhile, 107th has pretty good con map control in the town itself. North of Boy, 107th has good resource income, good resources. They put 10 artillery rounds in this cemetery. They could walk right in there. You mean Tango. I mean Tango, yes, thank you. Yeah, it looks like Tango's starting to engulf. Right now, they do not have anyone actually on artillery. I think that's an oversight. I think they could do a lot of work with that artillery right now. Yep, and with munitions, they, they're they solid, and they've moved all their nodes up into checkpoints, so they are getting, let's see, they're at 30s, yeah, 33 per minute on resources. Looks that's like interesting. Tango started to take some cap progress on the cemetery here, but... I mean, a bombing run would also do the trick. Mm, definitely. One bombing run would solidify this assault in here. Yeah, Tango's making a move now. They're pushing up strong from the south of Cemetery. They're surrounding them on all sides. Oh, this poor Tango. And it also looks like the assault on checkpoint Cat itself progress is... on Cemetery. Looks like it more is... or less the assault on checkpoint has fizzled out in terms of focusing on that new defensive front. Yeah, I imagine it's an all-hands-on-deck situation at Cemetery. Looks like only the recon squads were left to contest with checkpoint here. Yep. Maybe one small squad at yep. checkpoint. Yep. For the 107th. So if you're 107th, how do you get out of this? Whew. All in on defense, man. Hopefully consolidate, you, yeah, just... you gotta wipe OPs, wipe garrisons, and then consolidated push through. I think what happened is that they got too spread out and too focused on too many different things, and Tango found the cracks and they slipped straight through it. You got to the east of them on Cemetery in between HQ. The tanks flanked around. And they didn't push the city because the city is just a slaughter. Yep. I think 107th, if they have a chance, their chance is to get some garrisons built that are wide. You know? Further than they think they need them so they can come in behind Tango and spoil their attacks. So one thing that right now is bailing out 107th very well right now is they actually did have a, they did have some OPs back in it looks like they had some OPs back in that F column line that now are fighting back in so I would say right now as far as map control it looks like there's some really good map control for 107th on that far side hospice side of cemetery see this is where as a commander I like to save my bombing run and because like when things get a bit desperate and you're in a situation where you're like, well, the cap race could be going either way, bombing run right now on that south side of the cemetery can really give you the added firepower you need to push back. I agree. And generally, once your point is starting to tip, you're getting good concentration of enemies so you can get good effect with those bombing runs. Doesn't look like we're... Uh, surprised we haven't seen a reinforce on the point come through yet. Oh, never mind. It's on there right now. It's just hiding behind the, the tag. Yeah. Ooh, imagine the bombing... <laughs> even that strafing run, artillery, anything on that south side would just be monstrous. For Devastating. Either, for either, side, either side. Either side. Either side gets their artillery really, game yes. together. This is over. Unfortunately, it looks like... 107th is running out of resources. They have no more fuel. They have under 70 munitions and What's 166 manpower. Well, that sounded like artillery. Is that artillery? That is artillery. Artillery is there. It's, they only have one gun, and it looks like one has left to take fight in the battle, but I think Tango has got this. 
107th did not respond accordingly. I, I don't know. I'm not ready to count 107th out yet. I'm looking at the numbers. 107th still has a really strong presence on point, even though Tango just had a really big spawn. True, but they're not having any type of uh, effect on the cap flip. Even with reinforced, they're still losing the cap. Yeah, it's just getting into that, that cap and circle. And here comes the flip here in the next few seconds. Oh, it's going the that other direction. I think one thing that's not obvious Ooh. looking at the map is that circle is kind of on the south side here of the Here comes cemetery. in a bombing run, though. And, and yes, that's you where are Tango very is, right. right? Not so a lot like, of people are actually in the circle, yes. That bombing run is going to be epic. That's going to be massive. Oh, man, right I'm getting there. a close-up of that. Oh, I'm Already. definitely zooming in. <laughs> I got to see this. I see all our friends of HL Tango. 107 by the skin of their teeth. Oh, let's see that bomb. We run all our boys down here, get ready to take it. And oh, then there it comes. Perfect. Oh, no. Target. Oh, they're scrambling. Oh, there they go. Bye bye, boys. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, that was that huge. Was perfect bombing run. Well done by 107 to claw back into this fight, keeping that cemetery under control and this is a huge point because if you keep this next round it's a 3-2 game you're in yeah. it exactly oh that bombing run did not take out the op that was just placed tango is back in it right on top of on top of that bombing run. yeah but let's get a shout out for pfc gwa from 16th ir just took out like three tango ops in the garrison huge play brother oh man Purple heart for that man. Good stuff. Man, could you imagine? Giving out medals isn't going to be so easy if we have people watching. Right. <laughs> we man. got some armor oh, presents down south. Up. Wow, where, where did that armor come from? Uh, he was probably the armor that was all around the south. He was way, way over there to the east. So, the challenging part for 107 now is Tango's been able to maintain the pressure. It seems like they're starting to actually encapsulate the last stronghold that 107 mm -hmm. has in the north. Oh, and now that tank is just posted up yeah. to control at least half the cemetery area. But this is also another key point. If they can hold out for another two minutes, then they won't even be in danger of the mercy roll, mm -hmm. which also gives you a better chance to come back, right? Because that mercy roll, right. if you win, that gives you an extra point. Yep. Two minutes, this looks like a long time right now, though. Here comes the artillery. Yep. There we go. And the gun run. It sounds like they're just trying to throw out as much as possible they can. Uh, Garrison was taken off. It looks like OP's have been wiped off of Cemetery as well. This is a problem. This might be it. Yeah, that's a good effect at that arty. If they started it a little earlier and... Maybe spread it out a little bit because they keep shooting the same spot. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is they have no munitions whatsoever. Tango isn't able to take out their nodes and keep them down. Either they kept them down or they just weren't able to put more up. And so there's the flip. that's it. Let's announce so that the flip happened at one minute thirty after the hour game time. So that means forty six thirty for uh, additional points for Tango. So 107th has still 4630 to recap that point to prevent the extra point rule for HLO Tango. And right now, 107th is poised to make that attack. Yep, I mean, Crossroads is unlikely to be even a concern because of the angle that they're going to push from. 15 minutes, plenty of time to get some garrison set and make something happen. Uh, Strider, you, you made that announcement. I already did. Perfect. Just yes, I made the announcement. Sure. Thirty-six thirty. What? Forty-six thirty. Right. Already, sorry. And HL Tango already moving in with two pretty dominant garrisons and four garrisons all set up. Looks like Tango's getting set up right on the line there to just contest and hold, box them out. Doing pretty good awareness of the rule set, I must add, at least at the moment. Thank you for that. So, looks like we got to keep an eye. 
Yeah, this yeah, is so where it gets definitely... tricky. I'm gonna know this. It's tough when you're right on that line, you're trying to do your best to find the position. It looks like Tango's been able to snuff out the assault coming from that south side checkpoint side of cemetery. So if you're 107th, you got mm, good 14, 15 minutes. What do you think? What would you do to try to get back into uh, this? You're currently out of bounds. Please return. Thank you. What do I do? Uh, well, I think that I'm trying to get garrisons up there like Fox or like George or Howe, three, four, and then maybe one in George or Howe, eight. Just trying to like give myself some angles, right? Hopefully they have enough supplies for a drop, but if not, you got to work it out with support. You bring two supports. Start by getting garrisons in item line, north and south. Looks like the one And then you just got to win your gunfights got the whole way, which is not easy. Look at how spread out Tango is pushing yep. across these fields. They're trying to box them out. They definitely are. This this is something that we've seen time and again with all of these matches this weekend. As the team that is pushing across and holding the most points, they push, they spread out, and they have 50, 100 meters in between people, and they just box them in and don't allow them to go anywhere. The, th the danger there, of course, is you can get red zone garrisons now, so... Oh, definitely. The right combination of folks sneak in behind, suddenly your whole team's in the wrong spot. Uh, Mix, so that 100 I'll... meter rule, it's so hard. So, Mix, I'll monitor the south side if you want to monitor the north. Okay. Alright, cool. Oh, I wish you could ping an admin cam. Yeah, well, I mean, you can, but the problem is, is if you're pinging... Everyone sees it, and we don't want to interrupt. Hey, uh, Delivery D, you're now out of bounds. Was... Please return back. Thank you. I was just about to ask about him. It looks like he's out of bounds. Yeah, I just... he He's responsive. Mm-hmm. Ooh, looks like that Panther just took one in the rear from Jogan. He's looking for his second shot to see if he can't finish it up. Here the... it comes. That infantry, though, is looking for him and just don't know... Oh, he need bounce. Unlucky. Unfortunate. Jogan's got four rockets, though. Oh, but he was taken out, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, now Striker Ben might be able to get a shot in. But it doesn't look like he's paying attention. Well, he's probably looking for an angle. Looks like HL Tango's actually pulling off, pulling back a little bit off the line just to... There's a couple on the point that are making them nervous. Oh, I like what we got going on here. So Striker Ben's moving in behind while Leo's drawing that Panther's attention, just so he can get that Panther to turn his side face. Well played. Oh, and Striker Ben's not taking any chances. He's definitely making sure that Tiger or that Panther is cleared of infantry before he starts taking shots. Oh man, Leo, the man of the dirt, just crawling through. Don't poke your head up, son. Also looks like many dude in Touchdown Jesus are able to sneak a squad all the way down to the south. I wonder if they're going to try and meet up with this light tank and push the cemetery and try and do something with it. I mean, that's what's really fun about this rule set, too, is since now the team only has to focus on attacking, you can actually make those long-winded flanks that you normally wouldn't be able to in the normal game. 
Yeah, they get a they get a minute to try to put something together. Very true. Oh, Especially like with the Panther. new meta, it's usually such a crush once you get to four v one. Be interesting to see if this rule set catches on with the competitive team, or with the competitive Hell at Loose area. It seems like it really helps, or at least makes it fun for everybody. Yeah, because hey. even if you are... Tracking. Uh, you see, you want to give a quick... quick he just got himself killed. <laughs> I was heading that way. Perfect. Yeah, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because it is a little tricky to keep everyone admin. And there is a lot of the community that, that's just like, hey, everything goes, spawn camp, HQs, all that, like whatever it takes. Um, you know, what's makes it pretty frustrating when you when you take that loss at least in this case everyone has a chance to fight you have some protected areas to spawn in regroup have a chance which hopefully makes it enjoyable even when when you lose it, it is pretty demoralizing when you get that clean clear wipe hey i can't tell is also black hunter them over by this broken down house are they inbounds they're inbounds Okay. I've, been, I've been keeping an eye on that. The house doesn't show up on the map, so I'm, I can't tell. It does. It's it's real small in uh, what? How five? How how six? No, how four? Excuse me. Keep at three ish. Oh, I, think I see what you're talking about. Yeah, and each other team are really doing a good job south here, staying wide, making it really hard for anyone to sneak through. Mini dude did seem to have some success to at least get get through to the back, but HL Tango is hot on their case. Mm, the reaction time is very quick for them. And they also have their Panther come returning to the fight after getting some fresh repairs. Mm -hmm. How's it looking up north, Mix? Uh, we had one guy step out of bounds, but somebody must have called him back because he double timed it back before I could get there. Cool. Uh, as far as far as the fight goes, it's pretty much a stalemate. Um, there was a little bit of a presence at this broken down building that um, 107th was able to push out Tango and take it, but now nobody has it. It's just become a little no man's land. I wonder if the 107th realized that they can't push because they're keeping an armor segment and a full squad back on the point. Rob, are you tracking Rambito all the way at the bottom? Yeah, I'm seeing it now. He's dead. That does seem to happen as soon as they get out of bounds. Mm. It was kind of it's kind of awkward spot because he's just trying to follow the same hedge line. Yeah, that's exactly how you always step out of bounds in these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Need grid lines so they can see where they're at. Oh, look at that! 107th actually got a garrison down north of cemetery, but it's all immediately overrun. That's why I'm saying you want those flanking garrisons to be way out on the flanks. Although, I mean, as much as they're spreading out, Tango is going to make that hard to do. Looks like they figured out the recon squads in the city. Some kind of air asset coming in. Ooh, Strafe. Wait. Looks like it was Tango just throwing it out there. <laughs> you know, if anything, I think admin cam proves how tough strafes are. I think the most effective strafe we saw today was four kills, but it was four friendly team kills. <laughs> tough. <laughs> tough. And for 50 points, I mean, get out of here. That's like 18 <laughs> artillery shells. Looks like 107th is starting to make a little bit of progress in the south. Tango taking no chances, though. They are stacked up on Cemetery, even though they have no reason to be at this point. Yeah, so I they think know spawns all they everywhere. have to do is just keep that point. Keep it for another, what is it? Four and a half minutes. Hmm. Tiny bit of mercy rule there. I mean, give credit to... 107th just almost hanging on when it seemed all lost. They at least delayed that by an additional two, three minutes and I think we would have given them credit for it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So did 107th... 
give up on their armor assault? I haven't seen much. Uh, 107th have been holding their armor back on the point itself. It, he hasn't left. He's just sitting here at the crossroads. Well, looks like 107th got some guys on the cemetery as they overrun the garrison. Take down the garrison from HL Tango on the cemetery. For them? That'll be interesting. Putting that pressure there will definitely make Tango look back and ask what's going on. He might be able to uh, break out. There's, they got three OPs there still. I like how in chat it takes grass and censors ass in grass. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, no one rides for free. 107 might actually be able to take down HL Tango's southernmost outpost and give him a little bit of a breath some breathing room to actually assault here from the south. They are, I mean, it's one one guy, a uh, tank commander, in fact, doing some work down there. That's interesting, considering that he left his tank behind at the point. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't need a tank. The one man tank right here. One man tank, cold hate. Uh, traded it out. Well, he's going about one on ten. The only way that ends. He did uh, get one OP. Zero no, he on didn't. ten. And like out the of bounds again there, Rob. I'm on it. Starting to gain some uh, momentum here. Hey. Uh, Rimbeen, do, do me a favor and just fall back a little bit. You're pushing the boundaries a bit. I know it's tricky with the way the grass is, but we gotta push it back. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, that's a really tough spot not to be out of bounds because it's like right at the corner of a hedge. Unlucky. Yeah, you want to peek that corner. Yeah, you're like you know you're trying to play it, but it almost makes more sense to give that line just a tad so you can get in the most opportune situation without having to hold that point. Mm -hmm. 107th is making a move, and here comes Tango's bombing run to try to push him back. As 107th is actually starting to get some ground and force on the off. south side here. But with only 30 seconds left, probably not a lot left. So let's message now. Let's look at scores. And let's message that um, we will be doing a double map clip. And not to change teams. Maybe the countdown. Yeah, you might want to remind him not seconds. to change teams. So I that's did. the first round. We're going to swap it out. So first map flip. Yeah. 